Greetings to the subscribers of the channel, fans of Marker, fans of BMW Diagnostics. So, today I shot such a large scale video. I bought all kinds of DC shoelaces on AliExpress, which are on sale. And now I will review them with you and conduct a test. These shoelaces. Do they have all the lines and the K line and the D can line working? As practice shows, there is often a non working D can line on shoelaces. The K line also works on all types of shoelaces. So, a huge variety of shoelaces are now being sold on AliExpress. They can be in a transparent case, or in a white case, or in a blue case, or in a red one, or in any gray brown crimson case, but it doesn't matter. There may also be a switch, a connector from the 7th to the 8th, from the 7th to the 8th pin. This is also not important to us. This switch simply connects the 7th to the 8th pin. We can supply it ourselves. But despite all the variety of shoelace housings, there are only three types of circuit boards for shoelace circuitry. The cheapest is laces with a white board. They are different from shoelaces with a green board. As we can see, they have a completely different fee. Other circuitry. And the laces with a green board. There are two types of shoelaces with a green board. At first glance, no matter how you can distinguish them. But if you take it apart, then you'll see how we see it. We have significant differences in circuit design. As we can see, this shoelace has such an FTDI chip here. This one has an FTDI chip in such a case. So, we also have wiring here, some holes with metallization are provided. So, on the back side, as we can see, we also have significant differences here. Here we have such an MCP2515 processor, and here we have such a chip, even worn out, you can't see what's on it. But there are quite significant differences. And now I have specially removed the cases from the laces, so that you do not get confused because of the color of the cases. As I said before, color doesn't matter. There are only three types of circuit design. And when ordering a shoelace, you always look at the photos of the diagrams and order the one you need. So, let's start the test now. I will test both modes, both K-line and D-can on all three varieties of shoelace circuitry. And let's see which lace works completely, in which only the K-line works. Since our green boards are external, they differ, if you look closely, with these chips. FTDI in different enclosures. To make it more clear to you, we will mark the laces. Let's say it will be a shoelace 1. And this will be a shoelace 2. We will start the test. As experimental blocks for the test, we will use the Bosch ME 7.2K line block for the K line test, and the Siemens MSL 70 block for the DECAN test of DECAN lines. So, we are testing the K line. The first instance that we will test is the white plate. So, the whiteboard is connected. Ok, let's get the power on. So, let's start the test. Launching the INPA. So, let's choose our block. We have the Mi 7.2 unit as an experimental K-line unit.
and as we can see, the whiteboard is perfectly connected to the block. Which means that white plate K line is working. Well, now we will test the next chord. So, we connect the green board number 1, supply power. So, we launch the input. Select our block. And as we can see, green blade number 1 coped with the task perfectly and identified the block. We are testing the green layout number 2. Let's get the power on. Let's launch the INPA. So, let's choose our experimental ME 7.2 coline unit. And as we can see, the green board number 2 is also excellent, as we could see, the K line on all three laces is working. What's on the white board, what's on both the green board? Number 1, Number 2. Well, now let's start the test of the Deacon line. Let's proceed to the Deacon test. The Deacon block is an experimental MSB70. So, we supply power to the shoelace. Launching the INPA. We choose MSB70. And, as we can see, the big fuck showed us a whiteboard lace. That is, as we can see, the decon line on the whiteboard laces is not working. So, the second experimental green board shoelace number one. So, MSB70, let's power up. So, let's launch the INPA. And as we can see, everything works. And sees the block. Everything is being read. And as we can see, the green board cord under version number one works. So, well, our next sample is number two. The green board lace. Okay, let's get the power on. So, let's launch the INPA. Select MSB70. And as we can see, everything is determined. The unit is getting in touch. Everything is clear. And as we could see, the green paid lace is number 2. The sample is also working. So let's summarize the results.
as we could see, white plate. It turned out to be a working K-line, the D-CAN does not work. In the green boards, both in the first and in the second room, there were workers in K-line and D-CAN line. That is, we have fully working green boards of both types.